Tammy Petrocelli uh, from Energy Healing and Spirit Talk and TammyPetrocelli.com. How are you today? I hope you are happy. If you aren't happy, then do something that makes you happy. So I wanted to announce, I haven't told many people, but I'm working on my second book and I would like you to be a part of my second book. Okay. The new book, uh, a couple, about a year and a half ago, I kind of I was vivid dreaming in the morning, waking up, and I heard spirits say, your next book will be what I learned talking to the other side. So what questions do you have for the other side? When I say other side, you know I mean heaven. You know I mean our angels, our loved ones. What's it like over there? So I would like to do a chapter on my readers, my watchers, uh, questions. And uh, all you have to do is go to my website, find the email, which is Pike Creek Reiki at aim.com. You can text me at America 1 302 530 6682. You can private message me there. You maybe can find me even on WhatsApp. I don't know if the but WhatsApp is still up on this business phone. But I want to know what you want to see in that book, okay? And if I use your question, I might use your name if you give me permission. All right. So what I learned talking to the other side. So those are the type of questions that I want you to send me. Your questions about heaven, your questions about your loved ones in spirit, your questions about angels. There are a lot of uh, the chapters already written, and some of those answers may be in those other chapters. I just finished the chapter on numerology and numbers, I think. <laughs> I have to double check. Uh, so I try to go with... Um, spirit messages, spirit symbols, how they contact us, uh, all kinds of all kinds of things. So um, I will be reading a little bit from my first book, A Midlife Awakening and a Year of Messages from the Ascended Masters today, uh, after I take a reader or a caller, I apologize, after I take a caller. So um, this book, the first half of the book, are kind of spiritually guide uh, times that um, helped me open up to this wonderful journey of being blessed with these gifts uh, to um, bring answers and healing to people here. And that's what a reading should be. It should be about healing, healing those on the other side, because that's what they're doing. They're working on it and healing you the person on this side that needs to hear from your loved ones. So the first half of the book are some of the stories. A lot of my clients are in this. The second half of the book is when I would be in trance and uh, have messages from the Ascended Masters. That can include the mothers. The mothers work with me. They are uh, the Blessed Mother, Jesus Mother, Mary Magdalene, and Kuan Yin, the mother of compassion, they came in to me first to let me know that they were working with me and bringing messages. And then one day, Mother Teresa, she came in, in combat boots, not sandals as we see her, in combat boots, <laughs> and um, telling me she didn't care, it wasn't so important that she was uh, a saint, she wanted to be part of the mothers. The uh, next uh, one that came in was um, Bridget, Goddess Bridget. Some know her as Saint Bridget, but Goddess Bridget joined us. Uh, probably because I was honoring her over in England and Ireland. So um, let's see. So please remember if you would like to have a question answered in the next book. Uh, text me, call me, email me. You can get me 
all that information through TammyPetricelli.com. Even on my Facebook page, you can do Tammy D. Petricelli Medium on my Facebook page. So I want to welcome Sherry from Gideon, Missouri, the Show Me State. Hello. Hello, Sherry. How are you? I'm, I'm doing okay. Just okay? Well, let's fix that. Sherry, do you have a question okay. for me? Do you want to communicate with a loved one in spirit? Yes. yes. And who is that, please? Well, either my son, Brandon, or my little puppy that I just lost, any tiny peanut. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Brandon, um, now, I know that he is not a little boy, correct? No. But, right. but he is showing me as a little boy, and he's got the puppy with him as a puppy. So they have gone back to um, younger age, what they want to show me on the other side. And that puppy is just all over his face. So um, Brandon has passed prior to the puppy, correct? Yes. Yes. And the, and the, the dog recently um, passed. Uh, yes. Was it's he, like in the uh, last month and a half. Okay. And, and is he a short haired Short-haired, yes. small dog, like a Beagle or a Jack Russell. Yes, yes. Okay. Is he a mixed breed dog? Because I keep seeing, like, yes. I can't identify the breed, but I see it as short hair. He's got that really big ears. <laughs> perfect, that a Beagle or a, a Jack Russell would have, that kind of spotted thing. Um, he wants you to know that Brandon came for him and they are playing together like children again. Um, also, would you understand um, the puppy having um, uh, hip issue? Mm -hmm. Hip or back? Uh, okay. He shows me. Okay, that's okay. He does it, unless there was another dog also coming through. I'm feeling this hip um, or or lower back, some type of um, discomfort there. Um, so I want to try to um, connect with Brandon for you um, because he's having too much fun. Um, also, is Dad on the other side for you, or does Brandon have another grandfather? Have a grandfather on the other side? Yes, he does. He has my dad. Perfect, because I had written dad first and um, because dad is is there with Brandon. So they want you to know that um, they are together. Everybody is happy. He said, uh, your dad said, we're all healthy now. We're all healthy. Um, Brandon is standing back um, for me. Would you understand Brandon, Brandon having uh, some responsibility for his passing, and that does not mean intentional. Uh, I don't really know. Uh, uh, I wasn't there. Uh, uh, okay, when I say passed, I'm sorry? You want me to tell you how you passed? No, I, I just want you to confirm okay. what okay. I'm giving, okay. and then I'll ask you if if I need it. So okay. what I what I feel when they say that they take some responsibility for their own passing, it doesn't mean that they purposefully ended their life. What it can mean right. is that they accidentally ended their life. Or their actions or lack of actions, meaning I was supposed to take my insulin and I didn't. Their lack of action or their action contributed to their cause of transition. Does that make sense to you? Uh, it can, I'm yeah, okay. it, it could. I'm okay with a no because I don't feel uh, like he's. I'm not, to be honest, I'm not real sure. It, uh, it was, I don't, I'm not real sure. Okay, that's all right. He just stands back, which is kind of a symbol for me that he has some responsibility um, in the in the reason that he transitioned, you know, so young. Okay. Um, okay. But he does want you to know he did he not have a, a a close relationship with your dad, or did he your dad pass when Brandon was younger? Please. 
No, they just didn't have a real, none of us had a real good relationship with my father. Okay. We, knew Thank we had one, we had a relationship, but it wasn't like it should have been. Okay. Thank you. Because dad makes me feel like he is, he did not have that type of relationship with Brandon, but that they have that relationship now. He, your dad wants you to know that the things that he didn't do with him and the rest of the family in life, he is now doing it on the other side. In fact, he shows me going fishing and fishing and shows me a big fish. <laughs> so I don't know if he fished in life. But to me, that is a yes. sign that I am I am doing things that I should have done with them. Do you understand? Right. Okay. Yes. He yes. also yes. shows me the uh, apology. Would you understand? Um, uh, would you understand um, Dad enjoying imbibing? Yes. Okay. Thank you. I try to be discreet, um, but but they want to make themselves known because he comes in and he, he wants to give an apology. He says he not only owes you an apology, your children an apology. D um, are you one of four or five children, please? There's three of us. Well, no, with my, with my step, but the yeah, other's five. Okay, thank you. Because he, dad tells me I owe apologies to all my children and to their mother or mothers. Um, and he says, you know, I really am working on this all on the other side. And all I want for you is to be happy and to be se secure in knowing that your son and your puppy are both in loving hands that they are being well cared for and they are getting to know uh, your dad that they, they shouldn't have. So I wanna thank you very much, Sherry, and I hope that this gives you some comfort. And I wanna real quick try to find uh, a short reading to, um, to give to everyone today. And here we go, all right. By your very existence, you are evidence of perfect love. The mothers say it was nothing to do with how you were conceived, where you were conceived, why you were conceived. Just the fact that you were born again is a gift of innocence, innocence and pure love. You must remember that. You must believe that. And the mother wants you to show devotion and love to the Supreme Being that they are with him. Do not allow yourself to be convinced by others that your life has less value. So I want to thank you. That is for you, Sherry, that reading. I want to thank everyone for joining me. Don't forget, let me have your questions and I'll see you right back here next week. Energy Healing and Spirit Talk, Moonstruck.tv and A1R Psychic Radio.